Misan, Misan, Misan. What about Misan? Misan's been the most requested or suggested build system for me to compare. So for those who are not familiar with it, Misan is one of the newest kids on the build system block. And from their website, it's meant to be both extremely fast and even more importantly, as user friendly as possible. So to translate that, their goal is to finally write a build system for C and C++ that people don't hate. That's pretty ambitious. So let's see what Mason is like to use compared to CMake. As with previous comparisons, here are the rules. I'm going to build the same code using both build systems, and I'm going to try to get them both to do the same thing within reason. So to do that, I've borrowed some code from the CMake tutorial. The first example is a, it's a simple multi-file hello world, and the other one links to a third-party library called Raylib. This is a comparison that I've been looking forward to because I've heard great things about Mison, and it is growing in popularity. So let's do this. Like CMake, Mison is what's called a meta build system. So it doesn't do the actual build itself. Instead, it generates a script for something like Ninja, and then that does the build, which is great for working with multiple compilers on multiple different types of systems. Anyway, let's start with the first example, which is a very simple multi-file hello world from the CMake tutorial. It's been deliberately split into multiple source files just to demonstrate how to build a multi-file project. So you've got main calling print hello from this file with this header. And here is a very straightforward CMake list script for CMake. So basically three lines. First one sets the minimum required CMake version. We don't actually need version 3.24, but that's just what I generally use. Second line defines the project name or declares the project name. And then the final line says how the hello world executable should be built. And it should be built from main.cpp and hello.cpp. So very easy to understand. What does the Mison equivalent look like? And I'd say it is equally simple. And in fact, it's down to two lines. So no minimum version required uh, line. Instead, we've got the projects. So we set projects name to hello world uh, with using the language CPP or C++. And then the second line sets how to make the hello world executable. So slight differences in, in the Mison file, we encapsulate the strings with a single quote mark, which we don't have in the CMake list. And there's a different way to get the project name. Now, it actually took me a little bit of time to figure out how to get the project name like this. I use it here because every single tutorial and example I could find for Mison just simply copied and pasted the project name into executable, which is weird because, yes, it's good practice when, with a project that the project name is the same as the name of the main executable. And it's equally good practice to have that name only occur once and you read it from there everywhere else that you don't have to copy and paste. And, and if you change, want to change it, you have to change it like two to 10 different places. Anyway, building using CMake and Mason are both relatively straightforward. So with CMake, you first make the build directory and CD into it. Next, you type CMake double dots to build using the CMake script in the parent directory. Right now it's configuring the project. And then once that is done, you type CMake double dash build. Let's go for a parallel build, even though it's not needed for a project that small. Oh, I did something wrong. And then just like that, it's built. And if we CD into the debug directory, because it did built the debug build, hello world, there you go. Now with Mison, you type Mison setup build, and that will create the build subdirectory for you. It doesn't have to be called build. You could call it happy build, pretty build, lovely build, whatever, ugly build even. So now we CD into the build directory. It's configured it. And now we type in Mison compile, and it will build it just like that. And if we run it, we get the same hello world. 
One slight annoyance with Meson is, this is with VS Code, not Meson itself, is that you have to use the developer command prompt for Visual Studio to get the Visual Studio compiler. So I couldn't figure out how to just use it directly from VS Code, just like I do with CMake. I guess this is where the CMake tools extension to VS Code really shines. All right, that's the first example done. Now let's build something that links to a third party library. So this is code that uses a library called Raylib to open up a pretty little window and print a message. And this is the CMake script that builds it. And it's a fair bit longer than the first example. Uh, here you've got, we're using fetch content to fetch the Raylib library from the internet if needed. So if Raylib version 4.5.0 specifically is installed on the system already, then it will use that. Otherwise it will download it from the internet, from this URL here, from GitHub, and build it for you so that it's available. And then down here, again, we've got the add executable, which sets up the executable, and we have a target link libraries to add Raylib as a dependency. The rest of the build script are actually platform specific workarounds. Like this is for Apple's frameworks. Here we've got something for Inscription and a small workaround for the c -Line compiler. Let's have a look at the Meson equivalent. It took me a bit of time to piece this together. So it's a little bit longer and Meson has some rules about the way things are done. And one of them is that dependencies have to go into a subdirectory called, uh, what is it, subproject, right? Whether you like it or not. Meson is what's called an opinionated build system, which means it res intentionally restricts you to certain ways of doing things. A quick word of advice when switching between build tools, try to learn how to use each tool the way it was designed. Okay, some of the CMake hate I see looks like it was caused by somebody trying to use CMake as if it's make and then getting frustrated when it doesn't work so well. Similarly, Mison is not CMake or make or auto tools. So when you try to get it to behave like one of those other tools, it's not surprising when it gets frustrating and causes ugly code. The same is true for programming languages. For example, uh, if you try to write code in Rust as if it's C++, get ready for a world of pain. So take the time to learn how to use each tool the way properly, the way it was designed using its own best practices. Anyway, let's keep on looking at the Meson build script. Is it Meson or Meson or whatever? I'll probably get punished for saying it the wrong way. Anyway, uh, the bulk of the script is actually setting up Raylib. So here, Raylib uses CMake. Uh, we set some build options for Raylib, like for example, we don't want to build the examples because we don't need them. Then next, we have to say what kind of platform it's being built for. Is it being built for the web with Inscription or for the desktop? I don't know why you need to do that with, uh, with Meson, whereas we didn't need to do that with CMake. That's one of the things that makes the Meson script longer. Um, could be that CMake just has the advantage that the dependency has a CMake build script instead of a Meson one. So beyond that, then here we declare it as a sub project. Uh, okay, we have some platform specific libraries that we need to, uh, dependencies of Raylib that we need to link to. So for Windows, uh, I Mac OS, Linux, and Inscription. Again, didn't have to do that for, well, except for the Apple Frameworks thing. We didn't have to do that for CMake. And then down the bottom, we have our executable with the source files and dependencies. Now this script alone would be enough to build the project provided that we put the Raylib source code in the sub project subdirectory. But our CMake script was able to fetch it from the internet. Can we do the same with Meson? Absolutely. So inside the sub projects directory, I have this Raylib.rap and this Raylib.rap file tells Meson Here's the GitHub repository we want revision or tag 4.5.0. This is a CMake project, so the, the method to build it is CMake. And this depth equals one just says, just get this revision. We do not need the entire GitHub repository history, all of the branches and tags and everything. It'd be a complete waste of space for us, just get this version. 
And just like that, we have a Meson build script that is does exactly the same thing as the CMake one. Well, almost, almost. There's one thing that CMake has that I don't think there is a Meson build uh, equivalent to, and that is multi-config builds. So you might have noticed that if you build it on Visual Studio, you can have a debug and a release build, and CMake will generate a project that has both. Uh, I do not, I have not seen a, a Meson equivalent for that, but it's easy to work around. You can just create a debug build directory and a release build directory, and then Meson set up and tell it to build the, the debug version of one and the release version of another. It defaults to the debug version, by the way. So how did Meson do? I think it did quite well. In about half a day, I went from having never used it, so having zero knowledge, through to matching the CMake build scripts for those two projects. So try doing that with Make or Auto Tools. I mean, going from zero knowledge through to getting things working that fast. Despite this, I did end up feeling slightly disappointed, and that's not Mason's fault, that's its fanboy's fault. They hyped it up as so great that I thought it would be even better. So I, I was expecting things to be awesome from the documentation and tutorials through to Mason itself. Reality is not like that. So instead, I still had to scale the internet to figure out how to get things working. And of course, there are things I wish it did differently. Like, for example, I wish I could put the regular build options in the wrap file instead of in the main uh, build script. Overinflated expectations aside, Mason did a really good job. Mind you, I've only used it for half a day, and that's not enough experience to properly evaluate it. Uh, really need more time. What do you think? Do uh, you look, prefer CMake? Do you prefer Meson? There are things you like or don't like? Something else you want, to let, want me to check out? Leave a comment below. If you want to compare more build systems, then the next video should be appearing right over here. You can get the template and example code that you saw in this video from the Kia campus. I'll leave a link in the description. If you want to work, learn CMake, how to use CMake properly, then check out cmaketutorial.com. And if you want to learn Mason, uh, sorry, no recommendations for you at this point. Maybe I'll create a course for that later. That's it for now. See you next time.